What's going on, y'all? This is be your boy, Scotty by Nature TV, and we're here for a brand new episode of Yes for the Mess, where we talk about celebrity gossip, hot topics, and all things reality TV based. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful hump day, and I intend on doing the exact same. What's going on, y'all? Now, before we get into today's mess, let's talk about what we got coming up. Tomorrow is Thursday, which means that tomorrow is Chasing Dallas Day, which also means that is the Chasing Panel Day. Be sure to tune in um, tomorrow night right after the brand new episode of Chasing Dallas right here on Scotty by Nature TV. Jamar is back, so he'll be he'll be right there with us. Jamar, Carl, Scotty, Tramiel, T, and Jeremy will all come together to talk about tomorrow's episode of Chasing Dallas. And we will also have special guest Bando Kane with us again, per Jeremy's request so make sure you guys tune in to that all right so with that being said that's pretty much all that we got for the church announcement so we're gonna go ahead and get into the mess now this is some love and marriage Chanceville tea of course y'all know i'm still covering the show but not necessarily reviewing the show that's already known i ain't got to keep saying it so there have been rumors going around in the youtube streets that martel holt was in the psychiatric ward now i'm getting this from the urban bell mag so i'm not getting this from nobody's video i do know that urban bell mag sometimes you know they 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 receive things from other people's videos. So if they got it from somebody else's video, I would give that person the credit and all that other stuff. So the article states, Love and Mary Chunsville star Martel Holt made headlines months ago thanks to his recent arrest. Now, as we reported, Melody Cherie pressed charges over the explicit video situation. A woman who claimed to be a former acquaintance of Martel's former mistress made serious accusations. She alleged that Ariane Curry told her that Martel wanted her to leak an old video of him in mail. Before Martel's arrest went viral on social media, Mar Melody told her supporters that she believed that there was truth to the allegations. She alleged that Martel had threatened to leak a video during the past argument, so she knew she needed to take action. Well, Martel is a hot topic on social media yet again. It was rumored that he was sent to a psychiatric ward. Hours later, he hopped on Instagram Live to address the gossip. He said, that's why I came live, because I heard that I'm supposed to be in some type of faculty or something. No, no. Apparently it's really serious because my sister, my girl Destiny called me and I didn't answer a couple of times. I returned her call and she was crying, like literally crying. She thought that I was in a mental institute or something like that. So guys, no, I am not crazy. So listen, stuff that you hear, don't go for it. Martel continued, but listen back to what I was saying about the vloggers and bloggers and other people out there. I'm a whole father of five. The things that they say affect certain things that I got going on. That affects even money, food that I put on the kids' table. I've been a father since day one, and that's 12 plus years. I've been a great father. He told his followers that he's been busy helping his children adjust to their extracurricular activities, including tennis and baseball. Um... He said he was also at a tennis function to support their daughters. Sometime after, Ariane posted a comment on her story. She wrote, got to put your kids first in real life and not just for the internet, okay? So um, I guess the screenshot was on, um, it looks like Empress video. That's what it looks like. Um, I, you know, I know, I know how Empress thumbnails be looking. I know how they look. So clearly that's Empress Radio's video. Now, let's get into that. Let's get into this. So I do know that there were people in the LAMA sector pretty much talking about, you know, Martel possibly being in like a mental institute or something like that. And I thought that that was kind of weird. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, now where did they get that from? Because ain't nobody said nothing about him being in a mental institute, you know? And I just didn't report on it because thing about it is I report on stuff, but then, you know, there's some stuff that I'm just not going to touch because I really don't know how deep the shit really is. So I don't really touch on stuff like that. So I didn't touch on that because I wasn't sure if it was true or anything like that. So now that he's come out and basically stated that, you know, this shit ain't true. Don't listen to what the people saying, all that other stuff. You feel what I'm saying? So I get it. You know what I'm saying? I definitely understand and I get it. So um, I waited pretty much until he came out and said something himself. You know what I'm saying? So since he said that it's not true, I'm just going to go with what he said. It ain't true. Like, you know, I just, I think that, 
And this is just my opinion. You know what I'm saying? I do think that a lot of us don't like Martel. We feel like he's, you know, he's trash. He's the scum of the earth. We all feel that way. That's a common thing amongst everybody who covers this show or reviews this show. We all think that he's fucking nuts. We all think that. But it's another thing to really put certain things out about people and you really don't have all of the material or all of the facts. You know, it reminds me of the video that I did about Giselle Bryant the other day when I was talking about, you know, the tea that people from Baltimore were spilling on her. Now, I made sure to say that it was all alleged. I don't know if this shit is true or not, but it's all up for discussion because it was talked about publicly. We could talk about it, give our own opinions about it, give our own thoughts about it and see what we come with. You know, I never came out and said that the shit was true. I said what I did believe about it and I said what I didn't believe about it. I never just report things and make it be true. So um, sometimes I just think, and I'm not talking about any particular bloggers. This is about anybody, whether it will be in LA and mate sector, whether it be in my sector, it could be any damn body. Sometimes I feel like the dislike that some people have for other folks sometimes can really cloud their judgment and they would just throw out anything to make this make certain people look bad. That's how it can come across sometimes. And like I said, we all don't like Martel. You know, Martel ain't shit. We all know that. You know, it, it ain't really nothing. Uh, nothing. <laughs> he ain't shit. And we know it. But I do think that there should be a line that should be drawn at some point. I don't think that we need to just be putting out fake ass shit and then just put it out there like it's real and stuff like that. Now, do I think that Martel needs some damn help? He absolutely do. He has shown that he got anger issues. He has shown that all of that. Like he depressed like like he need to sit at some on somebody's couch. He's shown all of it. No lies. He has shown all of it. So I, I I'm down with him getting some damn help from somebody. But what I'm not down with is somebody just making up shit. Now I don't know where the hell that mental institute stuff came from. I have no idea where it came from. I'm very curious as to where it came from. But wherever it came from, apparently it was a lie. <laughs> he came out and um said what he had to say about it. Now Arion. Now, after that came out about him and he went live and he said what he said, now she came out and she pretty much said, well, you need to be in your child's life, you know, um, in real life and not just for the gram or not just for the internet and stuff like that. Ariane be killing me a lot because she be defending this man on one hand, saying that he's a good father, good person. Melody be making him look bad, all that other shit. But then she turns around and throws her subliminals right when some shit come out about him. You know what I'm saying? I'd be like, girl, which one is it? Like, either you fucking the nigga or you not. Or, or, or either you fucking him and you just don't like him. You just want some dick. It got to be one or the other because it's like, girl, sit your ass down and shut up. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're not going to keep the same energy at all times, then don't say anything at all. And that's just how I feel. I feel like um, a lot of people don't keep the same energy. And that's the thing that I don't respect about people is that they don't keep the same damn energy. Keep the same energy. Keep it. Just keep the same energy and maybe we'll respect it. That's how I feel about it. So absolutely, absolutely not. That's that's what I think. But yeah, that's pretty. I think that's pretty much all that I got on this. Honestly, um, like I said, um, Martel came out. He denied that he was ever in um a mental institute, and I think that's just it. So um, shout out to Urban Bell Mag for putting this on here, and um, shout out to everybody else. So with that being said, let me pay some bills real fast. Make sure you guys support Carl, a.k.a. K-Star. He has a brand new single out called Cock Goblin, and it's available right now. So make sure you guys pick it up. Also, support Bando. He has a brand new record out called The Nasty Remix featuring Tay G, Alanda, and the Hood Hoes, and it's also available now. Be sure to support both Carl and Bando because they are independent artists, and also they both mean the world to me, like Tony Braxton would say. All right, so with that being said, this be your boy, Scotty by Nature TV. Be sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe, share this video, and also click on the notification bell so you can be notified whenever a video drops and if you want to follow me on any form of social media my twitter my instagram and my tiktok will be down below with that being said you guys your boys are out here and until my next video i will holler at you guys a little bit later bye what's up everyone it is darius asking you to check out my newest children's book dj stands on business 
Follow along as five friends who are entrepreneurs by the name of Pixel, Raven, a dynamic duo we can learn, and a children's book author named DJ use their entrepreneurial spirit to save money to go on a trip to Mexico. So follow along as children can learn about terms that teach them about entrepreneurship and give them the opportunity to open up the world in the adventures of friendship, and entrepreneurship. You can check out my children's book, DJ Stands on Business, as well as DJ's favorite day and Twinkle Little Star at www.kingdariusbooks.com.